Hello, my name is Mark Leniardo. I'm a consultant neurologist and have been a consultant since 2002. In 1996, I started doing research in prostate cancer. And one of my main areas of interest is prostate cancer, making sure that we can deliver treatments that are proportionate to the problem and also respect the needs and particular values of individual patients. Now, early prostate cancer is very common, as we know. And typically the treatments have been to the whole prostate, either surgery to remove the whole prostate or radiotherapy, or indeed sometimes not doing any treatment at all, what is, what is called active surveillance, which is closely monitoring the disease, looking for signs of, that the disease might be getting worse and then intervening. So these two ways of managing the, the prostate cancer may seem quite opposite to each other, dichotomous. Is there a way between this which may enable you to get rid of the cancer, yet still preserve maximum quality of life, especially when only part of the prostate is involved. Now, we have such a solution. These solutions have been developed over the last 20 years or so. And the solution is focal therapy. It's an option for people with early prostate cancer. What does it involve? Well, we need to know where the cancer is located. So usually a high quality MRI scan of the prostate has been done, followed by very accurate and carefully taken prostate biopsies so we, we know that cancer is in just one part of the prostate not the whole prostate. In that situation then we can deliver a targeted therapy to the cancer including a margin around it. By preserving the rest of the normal healthy prostate we can then avoid the side effects of traditional treatments. So focal therapy which is what this is called, sometimes also known as partial ablation or focal ablation. It targets the cancer and avoids the rest of the prostate. There are several ways of doing focal therapy. The commonest way in this country currently is high intensity focus ultrasound, also known as HIFU. Another way of doing it is called nano knife or irreversible electroporation. And a third way is cryotherapy using freezing. If we focus first on HIFU, high intensity focus ultrasound, this involves putting an ultrasound probe in the back passage and then focusing ultrasound to a point, a bit like focusing the sun's rays to a focal point and to burn tissue. We can do the same with ultrasound energy and very accurately ablate or destroy parts of the prostate with a margin around it. We can also be sure to spare the tissues around it. And if we combine the focal therapy with MRI guidance or imaging at the time, we can make sure it's very, very accurate. Now we use HIFU mainly for cancers at the back of the prostate. For cancers in the front of the prostate, which are further away from the back passage or the rectum, we use technologies typically de delivered by a needle. These needle point technologies include nanoknife and cryotherapy. I'll talk a bit more about nanoknife. Nanoknife involves putting needles around the tumor in the prostate gland, and then we deliver electrical currents between the needles these electrical currents cause the cell membranes of the cells with the cancer to break down and die. So the cancer dies. Now the tissue between the needles is ablated or destroyed, but not around it. This means that we can preserve the tissues which are important, such as the nerves that give you an erection or the tissues involved in bladder control. So we can use nanoknife and we can use HIFU to ablate or destroy parts of the prostate with, ca with cancer and preserve the rest of the healthy gland, so improving quality of life. Now, not everyone is suitable for focal therapy, but some people are, and it needs a careful evaluation by the urologist in conjunction with his radiology radiological colleagues and others to be sure that the right patient is selected for focal therapy and that it is appropriate for the man who's coming to see you. Focal therapy is relatively new in this country. I did my first case of HIFU, but for whole gland treatment in 2005. Focal therapy is, however, accepted by NICE as one of the technologies that can be used to treat with early prostate cancer. So for men with early prostate cancer, focal therapy re represents a new way of managing disease with less potential complications yet achieving the objectives, that is to hopefully survive and not die from prostate cancer. So I've been doing uh, high food since 2005 I've been doing nanoknife more recently as it is a newer technology, but I also do robotic rectus sparing radical prostatectomies. I've done thousands of these procedures. So I use focal therapy as one of the ways of managing men with prostate cancer
to make sure it's proportionate to the needs of the patient and the cancer. So we can then tailor the type of treatment and the intensity of the treatment to what is needed rather than making our available treatments adapted or used for everyone almost willingly of the disease characteristics or the patient's preferences.